Hello, I'm Philip Burton of sqlintro.com and today's question is how do you work out sales tax or value added tax in Excel? Well, thank you very much, Rebecca, for the question. Now, there are two different types of sales tax or value added tax in the world. One is where the price you see is excluding VAT. So you're going to a store in America, you see something on a shelf marked $100. But what you may not know immediately is that there is a tax added to it of, let's say, 10%. So the sales tax, when you get to the checkout, you'll actually have to pay an additional $10. So the price with the tax is $110. In places like Great Britain and France, you go into a store. What you see on the shelf includes the tax. So this means that businesses have to work out how much VAT they've got, whether it is recoverable, and then recover it. So how do you work all of this out in Excel? Well, let's go the way from the price without the tax to the price with the tax. So first of all, the price without the tax, let's say, is $100, and the tax rate, let's say, 15%. So the sales tax is equal to the price without the tax multiplied by the tax rate. So $15 in this case. So the price with the tax is therefore equal to the price without the tax plus the sales tax, $115. Or another way of expressing that is the price without the tax multiplied by, and in brackets, one plus the tax rate. So the one indicates the full price, the price without the tax, and the tax rate is, in this case, the price without the tax multiplied by the tax rate percent. So eventually we're getting to 100 times 1.15, 1 plus 15%. That gets us to the 115. Let's go the other way. Let's say you're in a country where the tax is included. So let's say it's $200 and we have a tax rate of 20%. Then the price without the tax is equal to the sales price, so the price with the tax, divided by one plus the tax rate. So it's the inverse of what we've just had. We previously had a price of $100 and a tax rate of 15, and we've had a price of a tax of one of the price without the tax multiplied by one plus the tax rate. And here we've got the price with the tax divided by one plus the tax rate. So it's the reverse. One you're multiplying and the other you're dividing. In this case, the sales tax is a bit more complicated to work out because essentially what you're doing is taking the price with the tax and subtracting the price without the tax. And we've seen that the price without the tax is the price with the tax divided by one plus the tax rate. So this way, a bit more complicated, unfortunately. So here we are, the price with the tax minus the price without the tax divided by one plus the tax rate. However, there is a complication. Let's add the description into this. The reason for this is because not everything will have VAT added. Some things may have a different tax rate. For instance, in Britain, we have a 0% tax rate, a 5% tax rate, a 20% tax rate, and there's probably all manner of other tax rates as well. In America, staple foods, for instance, are zero rated. So you can't do this equation at an order level, you have to do it at an item level. So let's say that we've got taking our first example, which is a bit simpler. We've got a monitor, so a TV monitor, so that attracts the tax rate. And we've got some food for $50 which doesn't attract the tax rate. So if I total up the columns, 
So this is a table, so I can just use the total row. We'll see that the total price is $150. The price with the tax, $165. And that gives an average tax rate of $15, $15 divided by $150. So the sales, the sales tax divided by the price without the tax, which is some 10 percent so in this case because d6 divided by b6 so what you mustn't do is make sure is use the tax rate as uniform throughout an order because there will be some items which will be zero rated and others which may be taxed at a different rate so we've got two ways of working at the tax depending if you're going from the price without the tax to the price with the tax and we've got another rate another way if you're going the reverse method so thank you very much for watching this video if you would like some more information about tables, you'll find that in my Microsoft Excel Beginners Specialist Certificate video. And this course will have lots of things on creating and modifying tables. Just one final thing, you can always use percentage signs in formulas. So you can say equals 100 multiplied by 15% which equals $15. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next question.